is up YouTube? It's the Franchise Guy. Come on, you with another episode of MLB The Show 19 Road to Show featuring your boy Chan Bishop. I mean, the greatest third baseman in baseball, taking on one of the most historic franchises in baseball. So, it's off the Chicago Cubs. The Cubbies, here they come. I mean, on the mouths, Braylon Marquez. I feel like Marquez is a name that I know, but I just can't place it currently. I, I don't know why I can't place his name, but I just can't place his name currently, which is a little frustrating. You ever feel that, you know what I mean? Where you you sit there and you you see a name, like a, base, it's a, it's like a baseball player. You see a name and you go, oh, well, he seems super familiar. I, I should know him from somewhere. Like, uh, I don't know, I can't even say, like, a super generic baseball player. Um, I guess, like, a relief pitcher, I guess. Let's go with, like, a Ryan Madsen. He's super, he's a super generic guy. Yeah, I think, oh, Ryan Madsen, he's that guy that played for, like, the Phillies, didn't he? And then he's, like, played for, I guess, like, the Dodgers or something. And then he played for, like, I guess, the Athletics. I don't think Ryan Madsen was the greatest, uh... Uh, what's the word? The greatest um, example? But hey, it's what I'm going with right now. Ryan Madsen, the example guy. That's who we're going for. But you see Bryce Harper down here, him and his 13 year, $330 million contract, giving us a high five. So, you know, you made it when Bryce Harper gives you a high five. I mean, like, what, what other thing is there to do? Getting pinched hit for the next episode, Aaron Nola standing. Standing right up for some reason, staring out into the field. I guess he's trying to intimidate the opposing pitcher. But top of the eighth right now, Bishop off to a slow start this episode. I feel like it's been a common thread. You know, as the chance Bishop just comes off to slow starts for whatever reason. You know what I mean? He's just, I don't know, slow, slow, slow starts. Not a. I think he's doing though. He's doing fine, I guess. He's just he's struggling. It seems like every year now there's uh always some point we struggle with this. It's not this. It's a nice, nice no doubt home run. And he struggles and he struggles and he struggles. Then he hits a home run. Then he hits another home run in the game. Then he hits like two or three home runs in the game. And he struggles, and he struggles, and he struggles. Then he ends up winning MVP and lead league and batting and RBIs and home runs and half the game plays through Sim. So I have no clue why we're winning every year. Low-key kind of frustrates me because I'm like, I don't need to win all these MVPs every year. I prefer not to win all these MVPs every year. So. Yeah, that's a thing. That's what we're doing right now. Look at that. That's on the walk right there. So pretty, pretty good uh, squared up ball for a home run right there. Bishop again sending this one to deep center. I feel this one's going to get caught, unfortunately. Oof, not, not quite what you want. Alright, top seven now. Bishop again going to rope this one. So I'm going to split the gap. Bounce one half of the wall. Bishop on his horse. Going to, you know, well, I hold up a sec. We're fast. We're not that fast. We're not like Michael Scott. I am very fast, fast. I mean, Chance Bishop has definitely drank so much water with his chicken Alfredo. If you don't get the reference, then you should definitely watch The Office because it's a super generic throwaway line. It's pretty funny to those who know about it, but uh, if you don't, that's uh, kind of lame for you. But... No, no doubt home run. I mean, what's better than no doubt home run? Probably like two no doubt home runs in the same episode because, well, Jans Bishop is a home run king. In the last episode, he hit his what 200th career home run. This episode, he's going, you know, he's going for broke. He's just gonna go hit hit his 300th this season. He's gonna try and break the home run record probably at some point. He's gonna he's, he's gonna have fun. I mean, I don't know. I mean, I do know, but I don't know at the same time. So it's it's pretty wild, actually, now that I'm thinking of it. High five on Scott King. Is that much taller than Scott King? It's kind of scary how tall we are. 
Like, we are absurdly tall for no reason whatsoever. Like, we are just towering over Scott Kingery. Top five right now, Chance Bishop again, and he's going to send this one into the like center field. You know, center field is going to get that on the one. Oh, no, he's going to misplay it. We're going to advance up to second, beat the throw in. So good for us. Like, we're at clutch, clutch base running. See Adam Hazley. Bishop tied with 14 doubles on the season, so we lead the Phillies so far. We're actually, we're tied for the lead the Phillies. Wish the Adam Hazley in our franchise mode would sim this one. I'm not entirely sure what his, uh, this one's so special. I'm assuming he sat in the minors for a couple years longer. Had some more time to develop. I mean, our Adam Hazley came up year one just because, just kind of because, well, real life Adam Hazley came up. But, top of the nine right now, Bishop sends this one over the left center field wall. Look at that, 18th of the season. Just sent that one deep, 398 feet, 95.5 exit mile an hour. So we, you know how to hit the balls. We can square up balls for days. I mean, the fans here in Milwaukee aren't going to like it whatsoever. But hey, the fans at home in Philadelphia are going to absolutely adore Chance Bishop and what he does for this team. But look at that, Brewers baseball. That one's going on. That one's not quite that big. Hmm. Top one right now. Ooh, look at that. Look at that. Nice single up the middle. Look at the chance Bishop, you know, going just... Just doing, like, what he can. Just, you know, getting on base. Up again at the plate. You know, top third. 3-1. Oh, look at that. Another single up the middle. Way to go, Chance. I mean, like, you got to be kidding me. Like, how can... Some be more consistent at hitting than Chance Bishop. I mean, I don't think there's anyone more consistent. Cause I don't think we've ever hit below like 320, 315 range. So I mean, I think three. I think we had a year we hit like 310. And it was like a down year for us. But look at that. We're up nine to one again. Top of the uh, yeah, top five. Ooh, now nine two. So we've slipped a little bit. I mean, pitching not doing so hot this inning. Offense, of course, is. You know, just doing great. Carrying on as usual. I mean, look at that. Now we're at home right now. Taking on these St. Louis Cardinals. Team that got shellacked against the Washington Nationals. And I hate to say it. I really do hate to say it. But if the Yankees end up winning the ALCS, I'm going to root for the Yankees. Yeah, you heard it here. I would rather 28 rings... Then the Washington Nationals win the World Series. I mean, if the Astros win the ALCS, oh, by far I'm going to root for the Astros. And, I, and there's this girl I work with. She's a super nice girl I go to college with. I've never actually seen her at college. We go to different buildings. She's an engineering major. I'm radio, television, film. So we're just totally different buildings. So she's a Yankees fan. You know, family is entirely from, like, the Bronx. You know, born and raised Yankees fan. I told him, like, hey, I'm going to be honest with you. And she goes, what's up? I go, I'm going to be honest with you. I'm rooting for the Astros right now in the ALC. And she goes, oh, why? It's like, I don't want to deal with 28 rings. And she goes, that's fair. And I go, I'm going to tell you something, though. She goes, okay, tell me what it is. I go, if the Yankees beat the Astros in the ALCS, and it's going to be Nationals, Yankees, in the World Series, I'm going to vote for the Yankees. And she goes, why? She goes, well, I'd rather there be 28 rings than the Nationals win. Just because they're an interdivision team. You know what I mean? If it was the Mets or the Braves or any team from the, you know, National League East, I would want the American League team to win regardless of what team it was. If it was, you know, the A's, the Athletics, I just said the Athletics twice, the A, I guess, like the Rays, Yankees, Red Sox, I'd rather the American League team win Opposed to an NL East team. You yeah. know? It's like, oh wow, cool, the Mets were the last team to win the, you know, I guess now it's the, uh, now it's the Nationals. But the Mets were the last team to win the, like, you know, NL, you know, win the National League pennant for the East. It's like, oh, sweet, we won the last pennant. It's like, cool, the Phillies won the last World Series. I'm a Phillies fan. I've always been a Phillies fan, born and raised Phillies fan. Are the Phillies super frustrating? Oh, absolutely, they're super frustrating because, well, they're the Phillies. 
like, oh, well, we'll get all this premier talent for, you know, batting. We'll, get, we'll sign Bryce Harper. We'll go sign McCutcheon. We'll go get thrown at second right here because Chance Bishop can't run. Yeah, they trade like the number 10 prospect in baseball for JT Rima, too, who's the best catcher in baseball, hands down. People be like, oh, well, Gary Sanchez is the best catcher. Like, no, he's the most offensive catcher. But isn't Gary Sanchez a huge defensive liability? And I was like, oh, Wilson Contreras. It's like, all right, well, Wilson Contreras, you know, they stick when, you know, the left field so his knees don't blow out on him. Uh, Wilson Contreras, you know, he's like, oh, he's, he's a switch here. He goes, yes, but he's not as consistent hitting as JT. He's like, oh, wait, tomorrow. He's like, okay, home runs doesn't mean anything. I, mean, as, I say that as, you know, I hit a no-doubt shot right here. Again, to the state of those guys, just a 4 nothing lead in the bottom of the third. Can't get much better than this baseball right now on these Phillies currently. I mean, I don't know. I just feel like when I get to the end of episodes, I run out of things to talk about because I always kind of just tell my stories all back to back to back. Sometimes I'll just commentate the whole thing. A lot of times I can tell stories because I feel like stories are more fun, more enter uh, entertaining. And engaging, all that cool pizzazz right there. I mean, that's no doubt home run glory right there. Oh boy, they're making a comeback right now. It's three four. Bishop has you know a go at it again. That's gonna be a line out too. Right field, that's unfortunate. Okay, we have a bit of a lead now, three to six currently. Phillies lead. Bishop gonna fly out again right there. And, uh, come on, we can do it. Come on, Bishop, we can do it. Does that vote takes? No. Three flats in a row. Not what you want to see from Chance Bishop. We do get the win right here to close out this episode, at least, which is always a plus. You know, Zach Eflin is, for some reason, our ace. Apparently, Nola has just regressed to Kingdom Come. He is no longer, apparently, just a viable pitcher in the National League Baseball. So I looked at his stats, he's like a 75 overall. I mean, it's just, it's crazy. Like, he hasn't even been bad. He's just, I don't know, he's just regressed super bad. But, I mean, I'm having fun plugging with the show. I mean, who can, I cannot have fun playing this game. But, if you guys like this episode, make sure you guys like, comment, subscribe. Liking does help this video out a ton. Comment, just let me know what you like, what you don't like. But, I should too. Peace out, rock on, and stay super classy, I guess.